So C4 always has a great time in live stage performances. What's the biggest one that you remember most recently? I would say the biggest time that we had on stage was probably in Vincennes, Indiana, wasn't it? Yeah, as far as uh, a big party, that was definitely a, a one that you either can remember or can't remember. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the cool thing about it, it really wasn't even a wasn't even a stage. It was a well, they set us up under a pavilion because it had been raining yeah. like nonstop, and they had it by the river. So. Uh, and, and it was a lead-in to Vet City. The Vet City people were there also. Yeah, that's actually how we got our ticket in the door in Vet City. Uh, the sponsor, I guess he's not a sponsor, but... Uh, promoter? Promoter, if you will, Larry Joe. Larry Joe. He, he was up there pushing his event, and uh, he actually, while we were on stage, he hollered out, y'all guys are playing in Bed City? And we was like, we are. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even know that. Thanks for the that. heads up. Right, yeah. yeah. And then Bill Lemon, he had a big part in it too. Yeah, he did, he did. And that Bill Lemon is a Harley Life group, which is a motorcycle club out of Ben Sands. So he's actually hired us for the Indiana show. But we had a big time. I mean, it was, it wasn't a whole lot of people there, but man, right. we, were, we were straight. Yeah, it had been raining, and uh, they had uh, hotel rooms. And I think at one point, a girl walked up on stage and started rubbing Jeff's beard. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even remember that. I don't even. That don't says even a lot that. for the show, Jeff. <laughs> a lot for the show. <laughs> but anyway, we have had some good opportunities lately, and we're grateful for it. And we're looking to push more of those coming up in the next five, six months, hopefully. Got a big new year planned. We do. We're actually we're actually playing at a veterans club on New Year's. We're doing something a little different. And uh, hey, they pay, we play. You know what I mean? That's right. So, and it's always a big party. Time. We've played there before a couple several times, and it's always a big, big time, big party, good turnout. Hey, and the veterans know how to throw down. Yes, they do. <laughs> they do. They know how to do it. Right. Yeah, they're not going to miss a single moment. <laughs> no, and they we, we join in the shenanigans too. And, uh, I can't know, imagine. It's a good time. I mean, it's just like a party. You just get up there and you just party. It's like playing with all your friends. But That's right. It's like it might be a room full of strangers, but you know they eventually you get to know get to know them. And yeah. it's, it's a good good time. Yeah. Isn't that the purpose though of playing music for people? Is just that connection, that party where you guys are all kind of in the same environment for the same purpose and it's just to have a great time yeah for sure right mm -hmm. exposure and you know i mean obviously we're probably not going to get great a exposure on new year's party but the you know, we're always looking to impress somebody i guess you you would say and uh, you never know who's out there and we always give our 100 percent every time we get on stage we we treat it like we're playing in front of 5,000 people, you know, and it's, there could be five people in the room and we're still going to treat it that way. You never know who's in the room. I mean, that it could lead to other, other events, you know, on down the road, just like with Vet City. Right. And uh, you just never know who promoter might be there and just uh, say, hey, you want to play another show here? And like, oh, shoot, yeah. <laughs> Especially when you're on stage and they yell at you what your next event's going to oh, be. Oh, that was, that was pretty neat. We, we enjoyed that. And, uh, one of the guys didn't hear it at the time, and he was like, "I need some tickets to Vet City." <laughs> and Larry looked at him. And he was like, "You don't need any tickets. You're playing at Vet City. <laughs> You're on the bill, dude." Yeah. Right. Wouldn't it be cool if every show you played, you had somebody say, "Hey, we'll see you next week," at, right. and you're like, yeah, "Cool." Yeah, it yeah. would be nice. It would be nice. Unfortunately, the music scene doesn't work that way. <laughs> no, I know it doesn't. Right, but. It's a it's a tough market out there right now. You've got a lot of good musicians and a lot of good talent uh, scrunched into one uh, middle eastern area here in the United States. So we're we're constantly in. You don't really consider it competition with other musicians, but you are in somewhat of a competition to earn your spot and earn your keep in the music world and the music industry. So we're. I was looking to better ourselves and get better, and we, you know, we're practicing and keeping it, keeping it tight, and that's uh, that's the main thing. Do you feel like social media has given you an edge? I think 
with social media now on this day, it helps you to connect with your audience a lot better than just at a show, at a live performance. It does. It does. And there's, um, you know, five, six years ago, social media um, would have been the way to do it, you know. And unfortunately, social media has been around long enough now, you've got a lot of scrollers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People still just scroll down through your page. And I think when it first originated, it was really, really popular to use. And, and I think Jeff Jeff wears social media out for us. Yeah, he's it. the one that's good at yeah, it. Yeah, he is. He's he great. does Inst everything. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We've got a website, too. I mean, we try to capture everybody out there in cyberspace, you know, to let them know when we're playing next, what we're doing, what we're up to. Uh, maybe just even practicing, hey, we got some new songs coming up. Yeah, he's he's got stuff on platforms I don't even know we're on. You know, it's, it's crazy. that's okay. You don't need to know everything. And while we're talking about this, we are on Spotify and Apple Music oh, yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, about you fifty too. different yeah. others. There's all kinds you could of probably them. name that I can't. <laughs> yeah. There's tons of them. <laughs> but we yeah. we all need to know where to connect with you guys. That's right. And when you make yeah. it personal, and we know that you're handling the social media, then we can shoot you a question and say, "Hey Jeff, all right. Right. tell me, tell me what Preston's." favorite food is or you know i mean it's it's a great way right. to interact with people right that's personal mm -hmm. yeah. and just know that it is one of our band members that usually responds to it you know? <laughs> and when we're all three you know especially especially with uh facebook and you know we're always responding on mess messages in there whether it's a fan or whether it's somebody wants the book or you know anything like that we're pretty i'd say we're pretty responsive as far as you know that's concerned because we're, we're all three kind of watching it yeah, you can yeah. simply ask us, you know, personal questions if you wanted to know how the band got started. I mean, we're going to respond to you. It's We try to stay big into the outreach with the fans. And, the, you know, I say we're going to. Jeff's going to. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest. Right. <laughs> so if you ask any questions, just know it's Jeff that's going to answer. I usually <laughs> sit down and look at it at like 1030 at night. Yeah. Or when Jeff's texting me 14 times, did you see that on Facebook? Yeah. Just a reminder. And then you say, yeah, can you go ahead and answer that? Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. What, what do you think? Did you take care of that? <laughs> you think about this? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Or maybe not a good idea. <laughs> How long does it usually take to respond to you? Oh, not very long because, uh, you know, I've got it all synced to my phone and, you know, seeing, I try to get it within a few minutes, you know, uh, if I, you know, see it and notification pops up on the phone. And then if it depends on what question it is, and I'll start shooting out uh, uh, messages to Caleb and Preston. Hey, you want to do this? Or hey, what, what do you what do you think about this? Yeah. <laughs> do they respond to you pretty quickly? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I so. Try, I pretty try good. to respond back to them pretty quickly. Yeah, it's it's pretty you know good amount of time you know for get back and they don't leave you hanging. No, it's like yeah, Jeff, no. I'll just take. It. Care that one. And, and if they don't, if they don't mess me back, then I'll just call them. Yeah. Like, hey, he knows hey, how man. to get hold of me. Yeah, he's, like, sometimes if I, I messes him back, he's he's on the phone with me. Or he'll say crickets. Crickets, yeah, yeah crickets. Bueller. <laughs> yeah, yeah I've done that before too. Yeah. Like then I start calling. Hey, we got. Hey, <laughs> we. Uh, I think we've got a little over two thousand followers on Facebook right now so I mean it'd be great to get more of those obviously and outreach a little further into the United States and, and even further than that we've, we've actually got some music platforms in Australia mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah we got some support from them too got uh, some airtime out there yeah I Isaac, Banks, yeah, uh, Isaac he, Banks he did a little support and he, has a, he shares yeah. our stuff and very cool and yeah. we got some people he can see on what is it, tune core you can see yes. actually yeah, tune core i can actually see who's listening and where it's been right. listened to so it's, it's pretty neat yeah. and then you know it's all part of our album originated right here in this room so it's pretty pretty neat to be back here but yeah it is feels different today though right it is different yeah, yeah, it is. yeah. lights the camera a few just more a cameras in here, you know? more of a visual <laughs> yeah. thing than it is just an audio so that's, well, that is different. Well, we cannot <laughs> wait to feel the music in this room. And we thank you for letting us be backstage with you today. What do they say we're fixing to get down at Thundersound? We're right? going to get down at Thundersound. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs>